Um, so today it's Monday, and today I'm the sleeps beside me here. You can see her there. Is five weeks and one day old, and she has gotten some mosquito bites. Uh, I think it's quite late in the uh, summer to get mos mosquito bites, but apparently. We had some mosquitoes indoors yesterday, and she got one here on her ear, and three here in her forehead, and I feel so sorry for her. She doesn't try to scratch them or anything, so I don't think she really suffers from it, but it looks pretty bad. I don't, I don't think you can see it very well because of my really lousy webcam, but she's really swollen here on the side of her ear, so I won't touch it because I think it's going to start scratching and itching and yeah. It would be nice for her, but uh, everything is fine with her. Uh, we haven't been uh, at the doctor's office for uh, a week and a half, almost two weeks. I'm not sure if it is on Wednesday or Thursday if we're going there again, but it's later this week, and I'm really curious to see how much she's growing because it feels like she's growing a lot right now. Uh, she has almost outgrown her smallest clothes, not really yet, but almost. And uh, I think it's good, considering she had these issues with gaining in weight uh, in the beginning. And also this issue with her blood sugar. Now it's a dog sounding, sound, sounds behind me, but that's okay. Um, but uh, yeah, as she had these problems with gaining in weight and so on, I'm... I think it's starting to go in the right direction. And um, today has been a rather sunny day, and um, we've been out, able to be outdoor on the front yard of my parents' house. Normally, I have a hard time to go outside with her uh, because of my uh, heart condition. I can't walk around very much. This is uh, my parents living in the countryside, so it's really no place I can go or sit down somewhere if I get uh, out of breath or too tired or if I am feeling dizzy or so on. So my pre quite uh, limited to just you know stay indoors and their house, and it's quite boring I must say. Uh, they have a wonderful garden but you have to go around the house to get there uh, because uh, the kitchen door is too narrow for the stroller. It's a really really old house so some of the doors are you know really small, really narrow and um, yeah. And it's not always I'm fit to do that, to walk around the house like that. It doesn't sound, it sounds like it should be so easy, you know, just take a stroll outside and walk around the house, but I have to get down a small stair and then I have to open some gates and navigate the stroller over some object, uh, obstacles and things like that, and it's, it's actually a little bit too much for me most of the times. But um, today, uh, my dad helped me to get the stroller out in the yard, in the front yard, and he and I sat down and had some coffee in the afternoon sun and it was really nice to just be outdoors. And it's also good for Ro and her liver function because she had some problems with that when it was, she was newborn. So yeah, I'm happy about that. So um, I would say everything is fine with Ro. Uh, I'm not really that fine. Uh, that's a lot with this uh, guy I had um, I talked about some during the pregnancy. Um, it shouldn't bother me the way it does, but it does, and um, I think I'm slowly developing a depression again, which is something I really feared when I was pregnant. Um, I feared I was uh, going to happen with, you know, with the after birth depression that some people suffer from. I never had that with my other girls and uh, I don't know, it's something I think all women worry a little bit, bit about when we're pregnant because, well, it can be really tricky. But um, this is nothing of that kind. This is, uh, you know, traditional. <laughs> uh, Depression, if you can call it that. 
It simply has to do with this guy. And um, yeah, life is hard sometimes, and you should watch out and never fall in love. That is the stupidest thing you can do. <laughs> it only causes you a problem. It can be really, really nice sometimes, but yeah, I think it's most of the time causing more problems than it <laughs> solves any. That sounds really bad, doesn't it? Yeah. Anyway, um, we're going home to Malmö. I'm going to stay overnight for maybe two nights later on this week, I hope, at least if everything works out. I'm still waiting for uh, the doctor to call me, the doctor from the hospital. Uh, I think he tried to reach me uh, last week, but wasn't able to of some odd reason, because I'm always at home and always have a phone switch on, on and so on, but I don't know, maybe I had the wrong number, because I called them again and gave it to them once more. And uh, well, I hope you have called back. If you had called me tomorrow, I'm gonna call them again because I really need to talk to him and I really need to get this um, time for operation because this is just not working. So, thank you for watching. Bye.